physical chemistry involves these things called operators, which allow us to obtain valuable quantized information from potential wave functions. And just an example, let's look at a situation using the Schrodinger equation, specifically the version that does not depend on time and assuming we're in a setup with zero potential energy. Here's an example of testing whether an eigenfunction or a particular wave function, psi x, is an eigenfunction of, say, the Hamiltonian operator, which for this to be true, uh, applying the operator on our wave function should return the wave function multiplied by some value. Now, if we take our Hamiltonian uh, time independent with zero potential energy, that would be h bar squared over 2m times the second derivative with respect to x of our wave function, which we're setting that as sine pi x. Therefore, we're taking our Hamiltonian of psi, that the first derivative of sine pi x gives cosine pi x times pi, bringing the constant out and taking the next derivative that obtains pi negative 1 pi sine pi x. Therefore, we're now at h bar squared over 2m times pi squared negative 1 sine of pi x. If we just clean up some numbers with h bar being Planck's constant over 2 pi, that allows us to simplify things to applying the Hamiltonian operator on psi yields negative h squared over 8m times sine of pi x. In other words, we got some value multiplied by our original function. Therefore, psi x with sine of pi x is an eigenfunction of the time independent zero potential energy Hamiltonian operator, and the value we obtain would be the eigenvalue. In this case, the total energy negative h squared over 8m.